Hey guys, cleaning up the shop today and have uh, decided to part with a, uh, a clone Yanmar diesel engine which I've had kicking around in my shop now for probably six or seven years. Deci I picked this thing up and decided I would do something with it but as is typical I, I never have. Um, so I've decided to part with it to make a little bit more room in the shop and um, just thought I'd quickly go and make this short video just to make it a little bit easier for everybody to see what the unit is, what it's all about, etc. So what one of the things that's kind of unique about this unit is that it does have a key start, interestingly, and it also has a solenoid switch for the fuel. So you can uh, you can actually turn the fuel on or off with this switch and that activates the solenoid on the uh, on the fuel supply and what's uh, what that was used for by the prior person that had this unit before me was they'd put a timer on the unit and that way the engine would uh, just run out of fuel and shut off after uh, whatever period of time they chose on their timer so uh, but I just uh, got it on a switch here so you can just turn your fuel on or off key start and it does have a uh, also a voltmeter as well. Um, the other thing, it's also as you know, as is with the case with I think all diesel engines, it also has a compression release switch right here, uh, which makes starting it uh, really, really easy. Uh, and that is your um, this this here is your throttle control right here, uh, which you could put a cable on if you so chose, but at the moment it's uh, it's just a uh, lock nut here to adjust your uh, adjust your uh, throttle or the engine speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the, uh, well maybe just walk around this thing a little bit here and talk about it a bit more. The um, <clears throat> the engine I believe is either 8 or 10 horsepower, I'm really not sure which it is. Uh, but it's right in that range, I can tell you it's got a ton of power. And it's been used very, very little. Uh, the, the prior unit, user uh, owner didn't use it very much and for me I frankly only started it up a handful of times in the in the uh, six or seven years that I've owned it. Um, as you can see, there is a uh, there's a, a small battery on it. Unfortunately, from sitting around, that battery is dead. So when I start it up for you, I'm gonna actually jumpstart it with a car battery. But uh, if you got a motorcycle battery kicking around or a small battery, that's what this thing needs. Now, in terms of the output shaft, which of course, you know, if you're gonna hook it up to something is an important thing to know, it's got a, um, three quarter inch keyed output shaft and I measured it and it's two and a quarter inches long so three quarter inch by two and a quarter uh, long um, and as you can see it's in it's in really quite excellent shape so what I'm gonna do now is I'll just put the camera down grab the battery here and uh, hopefully you guys can see this thing start and uh, well, one of the things I should show you is, well, you know, whenever you're seeing somebody start something, you always wonder, well, they started it already. There's the muffler. There's my hand on it. It is stone cold. Okay, it's not been started. So just to show you that the thing is absolutely cold. I'm not going to shut the, shut the camera off here. We'll just uh, bring the battery over and the cables and uh, start this thing up. So just have to bear with me for half a minute while I get this uh, hooked up. It's just, it's got a really good, uh, it's got really good cabling on the engine itself here. It's just too bad the battery's dead. Oh, gee, that's, that's not very good. There we go. That's our ground. Here's our power. Okay, well actually maybe I'll bring the camera over here and show you what the starting process is. So, um, so again we've got it on the key and uh, so I'm just going to turn the fuel on. Okay, I don't know if you've heard that audible click, but quite a noticeable click. Turn this on, you'll notice that we have 12 volts. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to hold the compression release down and turn the key. That's going to be a bit of a challenge for me here. Um, holding the camera, but let me just see if we can get, do this here. Oh, well, also the other thing I have to turn the throttle on first, so we'll give it some, give it some, give it some diesel fuel here. Uh, so again, this is just the adjustment for how fast you want to go. Okay, we'll hold this down, turn the key.
and there you have it. Uh, I don't think I need to say too much more than that. Hopefully this uh, video helps anybody that's interested in the unit. And uh, yeah, any other questions, give me a call and uh, just ask. Thanks and bye for now.